the impressive data which has been shared by you as an author from in nature and dr auni krishnan just uh, before me was not surprising to me it's just it's so obvious that this flower will have uh, will perform uh, you know beautifully it seems like nature's gift for diabetics because um today we are managing diabetes not on the basis of carbohydrates alone we are not managing diabetes on uh, you know just calories alone we are managing diabetes as an, an as an inflammatory disease and um we are talking about anti inflammatory diet which is low glycemic and high in fiber we are not managing diabetes in the conventional way we said low fat uh you know high carbohydrate high fiber diet it's it's not any of that anymore and in my clinical practice i see this re- almost a reversal of early onset diabetes with just you know so initiating a anti inflammatory diet and to be very specific today when i say that we find that one of the most pro inflammatory proteins in our diet is wheat protein which is gluten and the second one thanks to wheat protein causing a leaky gut is casein which is a milk protein and when you take away these two uh, you know inflammatory highly pro inflammatory proteins from an individual's diet you are taking uh, you are take lowering the inflammation almost instantly and we see uh, radical drops in blood sugars and uh, but that's not it elimination is not going to just do that we need uh, alternatives we need uh, when you take away gluten you're taking away um, the uh, the basic staple of an individual and that's not fair and when i put in rice it has its own issues you know it is high glycemic and it is a uh, high in carbohydrate and so it was so when you have an alternative which is um, not only um, an alternative because it doesn't have gluten but it's highly anti inflammatory thanks to its phytochemicals the flavonoids the anthocyanidins the tannins the um, you know there are so many uh, other what we call phytonutrients loaded in this fruit even carotenoids um, these provide a very uh, high value to this alternative and secondly it's 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 very high um, uh you know the fiber that you've been talking about it's very com- com- you know wheat for say uh, uh 100 grams of wheat will have about 2.7% and this is an impressive 11% and um, this is not only uh, the percentage it's like you said a combination of very good combination of soluble and insoluble fiber uh, both of which have hypoglycemic and hypocholesteremic uh, effects um having said that um these uh, the soluble fiber is also today uh, we know is extremely useful as a prebiotic it's uh, also the uh, you know the we are talking about healing the gut we're talking about elimination and uh, you know having an anti-inflammatory uh, effect on the gut which will have uh, you know a cascading effect uh, for reducing inflammation all over the body now um, we also need to modulate the gut flora all of this is being modulated by uh, the 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 various good microbiota which is residing in our uh, gut so this uh, soluble fiber works as a prebiotic and also the carbohydrate which is the starch is what we call resistant starch and again which works like a prebiotic so you can see the 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 uh, reason why you are getting these impressive results in the studies that you are doing on management of diabetes and let me tell you that this is only a uh, one uh, one small part of what jackfruit flour can do as an alternative flour to wheat and rice uh, you will be able to intervene and manage diseases um, virtually every chronic disease that we are talking about whether it is uh, digestive disorders whether it is uh, cardiovascular disease hypertension cancer autoimmunity because when a food um, uh, is impacting the gut favorably it is providing um, fuel for the gut flora it is providing it has a hypogly- uh, hypoglycemic and hypocholesteremic effect um, it is providing bulk it is also going to be high on satiety 
so even obesity management is huge and you know the burden of obesity today so uh, by virtue of all these uh, you know uh, virtual these the um, the the goodness of this uh, vegetable you will be able to uh, really provide the world with a very very um, impressive uh, alternative to wheat and rice and i as a practitioner have used it in my practice even at home and with favorable very very good results at home i can tell you that the children love the chapatis and the he added to it lowers the glycemic index even further and um, you know um, like you said it needs to be uh, incorporated into familiar foods which include porridge which include uh, breakfast cereals of other kinds or rotis or idlis or pancakes or whatever you have and even bakery products i would say there is a huge potential that uh, you have uh, you know unraveled through your uh, through your chance a uh, project which has happened and i think um, i'm not going to give you data you have all the data with you and all the listeners would be uh, you know would have access to it but um, all i'd like to say is in in a nutshell that um, this food has uh, needs to be researched further to be introduced in by the food industry uh, and by, at the individual household levels and made a part of um, healthy alternatives to wheat and rice one of the biggest challenges for me as a practitioner is roti roti kaise roti nahi khayenge to kya khayenge and uh, um so and then when you say rice ki roti kha lo to we know that there are problems with rice ki roti and here is such an impressive percentage of fiber and both the soluble and insoluble fiber the mucilaginous aspect of it is one of the uh, usps of uh, this uh, the health benefit and um, and also not only health benefit but also like you said in its uh, if, you know in its uh use it in culinary uh, practice you know how it lends itself to binding and one of the things which gluten is all about is binding um so you know gluten you take away gluten you, you it's difficult to work with uh, the flour especially with rice because it doesn't have that binding capacity and here is a product which is um you know we are which is so rich in pectin when i uh, i also started a health food company uh, way back in 2001 and uh, we were making a a lot of products which were uh, gluten free and uh, we were adding pectin to improve the binding so here you have natural pectin and so it lends itself to uh, great uh, products in the kitchen and um, so i'm going to leave uh, my uh, session only saying that uh, i really wish you all the best and i hope we are able to bring this uh, product to becoming mainstream rather than alternative